Our ninth lecture video on properties of matter will cover density. There are two different ways we can look at density. We can calculate a mass density or a weight density. Typically, when we are given metric or SI units, you will use the mass density. A mass density is a mass per unit volume. To calculate the mass density, D sub M, you will take the mass of the substance and divide that by its volume. You may need to calculate the volume in some problems before you can find the density. The mass density will have units of kilograms per cubic meter, mass must be in kilograms, and volume must be in cubic meters. Let's take a look at an example of a mass density calculation. Find the mass density of a ball bearing with a mass of 66.0 grams and a radius of 1.26 centimeters. First, we will write down everything we know. We know the mass is 66.0 grams. The radius is 1.26 centimeters. The mass density, d sub m, is what we are trying to find. Remember, mass density should have units of kilograms per cubic meter, so we will need to convert either at the beginning or at the end. In this problem, I'm going to convert at the end. Since we are only given the radius of the ball bearing, we will need to find its volume, so that will be one of our basic equations. Volume of a sphere is 4 thirds times pi times the radius cubed. The other basic equation we need is that mass density, d sub m, is equal to the mass divided by the volume. We won't need to rearrange either of these equations, so we can move on to the substitution step. Volume is equal to 4 thirds times pi times 1.26 centimeters cubed. This gives us a total volume of 8.38 cubic centimeters. Next, we can use this to find the mass density by taking 66.0 grams and dividing by 8.38 cubic centimeters. This gives us a mass density of 7.88 grams per cubic centimeter. However, like I mentioned earlier, mass density should have units of kilograms per cubic meter, so we will need to convert at the end. We can use the same conversion factors for any problems converting grams per cubic centimeter to kilograms per cubic meter. We will start out by writing 7.88 grams over one cubic centimeter. Then we can use the conversion factor that there are 100 centimeters in one meter. However, since we have cubic centimeters, we are going to cube the 100 centimeters and the one meter. Next, we will convert grams to kilograms by multiplying by the conversion factor that one kilogram equals 1,000 grams. This gives us a mass density of 7,880 kilograms per cubic meter. The other way we can calculate density is a weight density. Typically, when we are using a weight density, we have English or standard units. The weight density is a weight per unit volume. To calculate the weight density, d sub w, you will take the weight, which is f sub w, and divide that by the volume. The units for weight density will be pounds per cubic foot. The weight force will be pounds, and the volume will be cubic feet. Just like with mass density, you may have to calculate a volume first. Let's take a look at weight density calculation. Some gasoline weighs 12.5 pounds with a weight density of 42.0 pounds per cubic foot. What is the volume? First, we will write down all of the data we were given. The weight force, F sub W, is 12.5 pounds. The weight density of gasoline is 42.0 pounds per cubic foot. We are trying to find the volume V. We know this is a weight density problem, not a mass density problem, because we have English units and the problem tells us that we have a weight density. Therefore, the basic equation for weight density is that weight density, d sub w, equals the weight force divided by the volume. We will need to rearrange this basic equation into a working equation. We can multiply both sides by v and then divide both sides by d sub w to see that v equals the weight force divided by the weight density. Last, we can substitute in our data. Volume is equal to 12.5 pounds divided by 42.0 pounds per cubic foot. This gives us a volume of 0 0.298 cubic feet. This concludes our discussion on mass density and weight density.